On today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're looking at another pedal in the reissue series from New X, and this one is simply called Analog Delay. Right. And it's in a pink enclosure with three knobs. Like the color. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty simple straight ahead analog delay pedal. And analog delay pedal at this price point. Right. Not easy to come by. Mm-hmm. So the question then is, like, how's it sound? Right. What's it do? So you and I both, I think, run analog delay pedals on our boards mm-hmm. in addition to other delay pedals, right? Right. So, like, I'll use a, a Nemesis for, like, the tape delays and long delays, but mm-hmm. like to have a short analog delay that we can... I set mine a little shorter, you set yours a little longer. I set mine a little longer, and I take my digital, whatever I'm using, to tap. Because some of my analogs don't have tap. Right. Most of my analogs don't have tap. Yeah. So, where to start? I think features. Mm-hmm. You have a delay time. Right. Number of repeats and a blend. You're playing a... Uh, a 1995 uh, PRS uh, Standard 24 with Dragon pickups into the Tyler JT22 with a little bit of reverb. So I think we start with the repeats. Okay. No, you said... Let's two. start with the delay just to show the range of the time because I think in... One of the episodes we did with the bumper of all six of the pedals in this series, we did a slapback, actually. Yep. So it does get very slapback, and then we can show what the longest delay is. So if we start all the way to the left, mm-hmm. be the shortest. So you know those memes that are like, how old were you when you figured out, you know what I mean? Like you figured out some stupid <laughs> right, like, thing right. that's really obvious. Right. I was like, I, it was an episode on this show when I finally realized that when you turn the delay time up, you're increasing the amount of space between repeats. Yes. So when you go to the left, the space gets longer, the delay gets shorter. Or gets, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. whereas I was... Always just thought it was backwards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like I would expect it to go really fast here and really slow over. Right, 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 right. Go from it slow goes to longer. Back. Yeah, the, like, the yeah. amount of time between mm-hmm. gets longer. So, how right. old were you when you learned that? <laughs> um, Probably about the same age as when I realized that New England was in the state. It's a long story. We'll talk about another episode. So, if you want a really long delay, right, not the pedal, right, because that that's the longest delay you get. We've got the repeat set pretty high there, but yeah. Yeah, so that's the longest you get. But if you want some slap back Mm -hmm. or, you know, like a lot of times with analog delays, I like to have just the two or three repeats kind of short just to fatten it up. So you don't really, you hear it when you turn it off. But it just kind of blends in with everything as you're playing. Right. I mean, short wise, I would probably go... And that even maybe is up a little high, but especially with drive, yeah, that's going to blend kind of right in. Yeah. It fattens everything up, but you don't necessarily hear it until you turn it off. Well, if I turn the blend down a little bit. you hear 
hear it when it goes away. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. hear it when it goes away. Um, repeats. Can we do the, just like kind of the quick, mm-hmm. like if I turn this, we'll make this a little longer. Yeah. We'll turn this all the way down and just give it a quick like. <laughs> so it's like one repeat. Mm-hmm. So all the magically weird things about an analog delay that goes into <laughs> self oscillation, right? But that's what the repeats does for you, right? You, you you can do that. You can do real ethereal, really crazy stuff with the amount of repeats. So if you've never played with an analog, <laughs> do that. Puddle making it do the self oscillation <laughs> stuff. It's a it's it's worth every penny to, to to pick one up and do that. Right. Pick up an I, I don't know. I used to love messing mm. with that. Um, so, and then I guess the last thing would be the blend knob. So, what are we at delay wise right now where it's at? Slow down a little bit. Nothing all the way to the right. Your first delay is almost or about, if not the same as your whatever note you just right. picked. Yeah. So basically, is eliminating dry signal. So what else? So it's pretty simple to use pedal. Like you said, if you're looking for a real long delay, maybe not the one, but they, even that the length that you can get at the top. Pretty cool for like soloing and stuff, I think. And you can definitely get the slap back uh, when you take it back to the left. And then, as you can hear, the repeats can be from almost nil Mm -hmm. to oscillation. And then the blend gets you from dry to wet. I mean, it it does what it's supposed to do. I think there's some some tones in there. And in the clip that we played, uh, which I think probably up front, I paired it with the analog chorus. Just trying to go all 80s all the time. But so you pair it. It looks like Easter down there. With the it does. <laughs> which, which, whether you know it or not, this is around Easter time when we're filming this. So, um, yeah, I think I, I don't know if you've never played with an analog delay, right? And you're like, I'd like to try it. Mm-hmm. I think it's a very friendly try it price point. Yeah, can't go wrong. So, and for lead work, you know, to have that little bit of something on the back of your mm-hmm. lead always, for me, covers up the mistakes. <laughs> and <laughs> and the, on the other hand, if you hit one, it repeats your mistake. How many times you have the uh, repeat set? Right. But yes. All right. So, I, like always, um, you know, we should set up front. Appreciate New X for mm-hmm. sending these out uh, for us to check out. We have one more, at the time of recording this, and I don't know what order they come out in, right. but we have one more pedal to check out in that series right and so far i, I mean they've been cool yeah they're sure. fun yep so with that i think we're at that point where we always like to pause and just say thank you uh to everybody that's watching thank you for subscribing clicking the notification bell hitting the like button leaving comments down below uh going out to facebook instagram chatting with us there stopping by the new website mm-hmm. um anytime you interact with the show it really helps us out helps us bring more cool content like this and we appreciate that so with that, I'm PJ. On behalf of the beard, remind you: no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. We didn't really plan this, but let's see what we got.
I mean, we got. Thank you.